Hey my YouTube lovers and welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today to give you guys my two week and my three week update for my VSG vertical sleeve gastrectomy liquid diet. Ooh, I have a friend so I want to show you guys. Look what I have. This is my new stomach. This is the old stomach. <laughs> my hospital gave us a coupon to get these and I just got in the mail. So I want to show you guys my little friend to the side <laughs> but i want to give you guys an update i am so sorry i'm late putting this video out but it's been a lot going on started my second job which is a tax repair and so that's been keeping me busy and getting back into the normal routine of everything has been interesting but i'm going to read you guys my stats um and so always look at the description box because i will put them there but i'm going to read you my stats um so i started my highest weight the summer of 2018, I was 310 pounds. And if you've been following me for a while, go back to my last cruise vlog, which was on the Carnival Magic. We took over the summertime. I was doing that cruise. I was at my highest weight of 310. Um, but I started this process back in December 2017. At my pre-op liquid, I started my pre-liquid diet on December 25th. Christmas Day, 2018, I was 300.9 pounds on that day. I had my surgery on January 14th, I, 2019, and I weighed 283.3. After one week, I lost 10 pounds. I was 273.3 pounds. At my second week, I was, which was January 28th, 2019, I weighed 267 point pounds even, so I lost another 6.3 pounds. And at my third week update, which was February 4th, 2019, I was at 263 pounds. So I lost four pounds. So since surgery, I lost 20.3 pounds, which was in three weeks. I'm happy about that. Hey. Um, and since I started my liquid diet, I am like 38 and some change pounds. Yeah, 38 and some change pounds and 48 and some change pounds since my heaviest weight. So, a lot of stats. But first, I want to, before I go into what's been going on, I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much to the VSG community. Thank you so much for reaching out, your love and support. To my cruise community, thank you so very much for all your love and support. Um, and if you watch this video for the first time, hit the subscribe button. I will be doing updates about this VSG journey. I'm about to get ready and start my cruising journey for the first cruise of the upcoming year. I'm excited about that. And I have a lot of exciting vacations planned for this year and a lot of exciting things about life planned for this year. So definitely hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out. Okay, what's been going on? I'm going to give it the real, the raw, my version, my journey about what's going on in my life. I'm going to start with week two and then roll into week three. So the start of week two, I was happy, down 16 plus pounds. But I started to get like a little depressed. Depression kicked in. You during this process, your relationship with food changes so rapidly. Like, and me being one of the main cooks in the house, um, it was hard. Like my stomach and my body physically don't want the food, but the head hunger and the head gain. It was like, I want to eat. I want the food. I want this. I want that. But I wouldn't. I didn't really want the food. But it was just like, knowing that at that stage, I really couldn't eat. I really couldn't get as much food in as I wanted to get in. I mean, I was getting in maybe a 16-ounce bottle of water a day. Um, eating maybe 200 to 300 calories a day during my second week. It was hard. It was such a struggle to eat like my relationship with food became i hated food I, I mean i hate food i was eating just so my body wouldn't go into starvation mode but i didn't want to eat and it was like oh my i don't want to eat like you know and it's like when you come from a period where you like to eat it was just really really tough also during that second week um january is a really hard month for me i mentioned previously if you follow me on facebook or social media you know my mother died eight years ago her birthday was january 10th the day she died was january 22nd 
and a day of the funeral was January 29th. Um, so there's very emotional time there. And when you have been an emotional eater, because I was an emotional eater, it's hard not to lean on your crutch, emotional eating. So that added to my depression during that second week. It was just like, I want to eat. I'm sad. I miss my mom, you know, and going into your old ways. Like you get something every year for eight years. I emotionally ate during that time. And now this year I physically can't. It was emotional. Like I cried and, you know, just dealing with all those emotions. And then one day I just sat back and said, I know my mother be so proud of this journey I'm going through. And I know she's my guardian angel watching over me. And it helped. So that was really tough dealing with a very emotional time and not eating. Because, yeah. Um, another thing that I've been learning during week two is that I'm scared to eat. Like, I eat just enough to get back because I'm afraid of throwing up. Throwing up after eating is not fun. I don't want to get sick. Um, so that was, it was hard. It's like you're getting to know your body all over again and you have to learn a little, little things here. Um, I still don't like cold water. I still don't like the, the, um, certain premier shakes, which is weird. Um, I've been getting my water basically in through tea, some water, but the doctor said it was okay because at least I'm getting fluids in and that's most important, getting fluids in. So yeah, so week two was very, 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 very rough. I dealt with so many emotional things during week two and it's, I was just like, oh, God, is this, is this going to get better? It's going to get better. I know it's going to get better. But let me just say this first. Doing all this heavy emotions, I never regretted the surgery. I never regret it because I know why I did this. And I'm going to get to that in week three. I know why I did this for me. But it's just the fact that I'm retraining my brain. Because, yes, the tool deal with this, deal with the stomach. But you got to retrain this because that was the biggest part. So it's just that part was depressing because I couldn't eat certain foods or didn't want to eat certain foods, but it wasn't like I regret the surgery. Why did I do it? I never had that feeling as of this moment. So rolling into week three, I knew I was headed for the dreaded three week stall. Um, I'm on several social media pages that I watch. They say, you know, when you get to week three, be expecting a stall. And it happened to me literally kind of my second week going into my third week because on January 28th, I weighed. 267 pounds. I'm like, okay. The next day during 29th, I think I dropped like two pounds. And I stayed there literally all up until the fourth when I lost the rest of the pounds. So it was like, I lost two more pounds. So literally week I lost four pounds. And I wasn't upset this third week. I wasn't mad because I knew the stall was to come. So it's like when you know something's to come, what you're getting mad about, you know it's a three week stall. Um, I went to my two-week checkup appointment with my doctor on February the 1st. The first good news, long scale victory. I am no longer taking high blood pressure medication, which is a really great deal. And my numbers for my diabetes is looking very, very good. So the doctor was very excited about that. And that's just two weeks after the surgery. So that was a plus, a big plus. Um, around the three-week mark, my feelings kind of shifted with a lot of things. Um, I started getting more protein in. I started getting more water in. And I moved from the full liquid stage to the puree stage. But my doctor, when I met with her and my team, I'm actually in the soft food stage. Because honestly, the puree, this is my doctor, what they told me. I cannot tolerate that, that consistency of the soft like the puree stage food. I can't. So what I do is I have soft foods and I just chew, 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 kind of make it puree in my mouth and I'm able to tolerate that. So it's good to be able to try something new besides soups and stuff. So, I mean, um, I'm mean, getting my protein in other ways besides shakes So and the protein powder, which is amazing. Um, so, yeah, that was good to go into this new stage. That helped. Um... I'm, what I eat in a day at this stage, my typical morning, I start off with maybe having a cup of decaffeinated coffee. But I pour a half a 
premier shake in it, getting that protein in early. For breakfast, I usually have like maybe a scrambled egg with maybe like a tablespoon of um, turkey scramble in it. That's my breakfast. A snack I may have, maybe jello applesauce. Um, for lunch, I have a soup or some soup. And for dinner, I have been having Wendy's chili, KFC mashed potatoes. I've had tilapia, I had salmon, I had chicken. I had ground turkey. There's different meals I had, y'all, not all in one day. And, yeah, so I've been doing my three meals and my two snacks. Everything been going down good. Um, getting the protein in first. And just really using my tool for the best way I could. And I've been very excited. This journey's been really, really amazing. This third week has been much better than the last week, y'all. It was just like... Mm. So much better. Um, next week, this is the start of my fourth week, I move into my stage of getting back to regular foods with certain restrictions, like I can't eat raw foods like that, which is also, I leave for my cruise next week. So next Monday starts the fourth week. Next Friday, I'm leaving for my cruise. And if you know a cruise, it's food everywhere. Buffets is everywhere. It's, I mean... The exciting part about a cruise is that it's food everywhere. Um, so I've been mentally preparing myself for the cruise, what I can and what I cannot eat. And again, I'm still scared because I won't try certain things because I'm in fear of upsetting my stomach. And my sleeve doesn't like certain things to be upset. So I'm just trying to like figure out from the cruise what I like to eat before, what I can't eat. Um, I love seafood now. I mean, I always loved it, but it's been like my best friend. <laughs> through this process, crab legs, slowly shrimp. So I know I can get that on the sh um, the boat, the ship, and I'm excited about that. But I'm excited about going on a cruise because Chicago had some bad weather and we were snowed in, 50 below Greek weather, and I already get some fun and the sun in the Bahamas. So that's all in the video. But uh, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to vlogging for you all what I'm eating on a cruise one month post-op. That's going to be very interesting to see how I'm eating. I'm packing different. I'm packing some snacks um, that I know that's good for me, that's high in protein to make sure I can get my protein in. I won't be able to drink, so I'm not worried about that. But I do have like a thousand and one different um, water singles in it just to give me that, you know, flavor while my lady's drinking. It's like that I have my little flavors to, you know, do what I do. I'm so excited about that. Overall, the third week has been better. Boy eggs, different foods, different textures that you're trying again. Um, I have been released to go back to the gym. So I've been going to the gym and that's been good. Getting my workout back in. Um, I plan on going to the gym on a boat. So I have packed some workout clothes. Um, I think week three is to me is like the start of getting back to normal life. I'm driving the car again. Because I wasn't driving for up to two, like two and a half weeks. I wasn't driving a car. I still had a lot of bad pain in my large incision. And I wasn't trying to hit bumps while I'm driving because it really, really hurt. The doctor told me to move at my own pace. So for me, that's something that I just waited on by driving by myself. But I just started back driving again. It's nice. I'm back working full time with the daycare kids. And that's nice. We're running around doing things. Um, some non-scale victories. I noticed my energy is up more this week than last week, week two. Um, I noticed that if you watch some of my previous vlogs, my face is getting smaller. So it's like, okay, I see you face. Okay. Um, I have dropped down in the size of clothes. So some of the clothes I'm wearing for my crew is the stuff I wore since my first cruise eight years ago. So that's exciting uh, that I can fit in. I haven't did that crazy shopping because I don't want to shop. I'm just going to use what I got and recycle. I don't want to do that. Uh, but I'm noticing that, yeah, go look at some of my old vlogs. And my face is much slimmer. And I'm like, okay, I see it. My body's starting to, my stomach is going in and I'm liking that. I'm definitely losing inches. I know I'm in my three-week stall because since my weigh-in, um, today is Wednesday. So I'm weigh-in on Monday. I'm still at the same weight, and I'm cool with that. Like I said, the stall is good by me. I know my tool can do what I need to do. I'm not stressing about that. But I know I'm losing a lot of inches because I can feel it in my clothes, and it feels great. It feels good. It, I'm, I'm loving that part. 
Um, so yeah, that's been a really, really great part. I'm going to just talk off my head. I'm rambling. I like to talk. Uh, but uh, yeah, so overall, week three, emotionally, I've been feeling better. Um, meditating more, praying more. You know, just everything has been better week three. Still dealing with the emotions of my mom's death and uh, my aunt died shortly after my mom. Like earlier a week after my mom, my mother's sister. So that's coming up of the the day that she died. But I'm dealing with it in a way where I'm not thinking about emotional eating at all. And like I'm thinking about other things. I got so many cruises planned and vacations planned and working two jobs now. I'm not thinking about the food. And again, my relationship with food is I don't like food. I eat because I have to. And that's a good thing in a way because I get my protein in first. Like my goal the other day is to get protein in. I am getting in more water than I was last week. Um, and from week one, I'm getting in between 50 to 80 ounces of water a day compared to week one. I was ready getting in 16. So I'm happy about that. And it's it's going. So overall, I'm very happy with my tool. I'm very happy with the success of my journey. My little baby. Um, just getting back into the normalcy of things. I'm excited just to see myself like six months from now, a year from now. And I rewatched this video like, wow, you come a long way, girl. <laughs> but I hope this video was informative to everyone. Let me say this before I do this. To everyone who reached out to me, text me, inbox me, message me. My subscribers are truly the best subscribers ever. New, old, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for being my nurses, my friends. Like, I feel like I'm becoming, like, friends with a lot of you all because y'all like, how you doing today? You all right? You all good? Like, I really, really, really appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, truly appreciate you all for caring about my journey with this thing. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any other questions that you need me to answer, leave a comment down below. And be looking out for the cruise vlogs coming up soon because I leave for my cruise on February the 14th, Valentine's Day. But the cruise is on the 15th, Girls Trip 2.0. So I'm excited about that. Um, and yeah, so be on the lookout for those vlogs coming up soon. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I truly, truly love you, my loves. Thank you so much. Until the next video, peace, my loves. Bye-bye, guys.